In our fast-moving, hyper-connected world, the way we use money to make payments and do business is changing. Many countries are increasingly relying on digital online payment systems instead of cash. But our growing dependency on these online systems can affect our ability to pay when they become unavailable due to system outages, cyber attacks or even natural disasters. Being able to make payments when offline could provide a solution. An offline payment is a payment between two parties which are not connected to a ledger system. The ability to make offline payments when systems are unavailable could improve the resilience of payment systems and provide backup during a crisis. Offline payments could also enable financial inclusion wherever internet and telecommunications connections are unreliable or non-existent. And some solutions could provide digital payment alternatives for those who can't use mainstream options. Offline payment solutions could extend some of the features of using cash into the digital space, giving people more choice. Project Polaris from the BIS Innovation Hub Nordic Centre investigates the design of secure and resilient online and offline central bank digital currencies, starting with a focus on offline payments using CBDCs. In a global survey conducted as part of this project, the ability to pay with CBDC when offline is important to many central banks. The project helps central banks to understand the range of reasons and usage scenarios, the technologies available and the security considerations, key threats, risks and risk mitigating measures, privacy, inclusion and resilience design principles. The design and architecture considerations, operational and change management issues. Implementing offline payments will be complex, with various technological, security and operational considerations that need to be planned and designed for as early as possible. These could influence approaches to developing policy, defining roles and responsibilities, implementation and operations, investment decisions. Offline payment solutions can be based on tamper-resistant hardware, software or both. They can operate in three modes, full, intermittent or staged, and have several central and remote components. These influence how objectives such as privacy, inclusion, accessibility and resilience could be achieved and which risks would need to be managed. Some of the risks include cybersecurity, double spending, counterfeiting, fraud, lost value, operations, supply chains, or reputation. Here are some of Project Polaris's key findings. There's no one size fits all. Each country will have different reasons for providing offline payments capabilities. A risk-based approach must be taken from the earliest stages of designing the technology and operations. The design of a CBDC system providing offline payments would be influenced by a combination of factors including usage scenarios, privacy, inclusion, accessibility, resilience needs, available infrastructure, risk management, the entire ecosystem of public and private actors need to collaborate with clear roles, responsibilities and expectations. Improvements in network coverage and connectivity could reduce some needs for offline payments. However, some level of capability should be provided in the public interest, for example, for resilience reasons. Individuals and businesses will want CBDC-ready payment solutions that are reliable, easy to use, convenient, widely accepted and provide a seamless user experience, both online and offline. CBDC systems must be secure and resilient, working whenever and wherever for everyone in society. Project Polaris 
ensuring trust in a secure and resilient future monetary system.